Welcome everybody to Filmora Effects and today we're going to talk about two new effects Filmora has just added and they are located under Effects, Utility and they are Remove White Background and Remove Black Background. These two new effects are to help you when you're trying to do some transparency and uh, sometimes you get a little black left over, a little white left over. And I'm going to show you some interest, interesting ways to use these effects and what you can do with them. In the intro, you saw I did a little reveal effect here where the white has been removed from the text and you can see the moving traffic behind it. And you can get a real good shot of that right there as the box turns. It's still see-through because the white is gone. And then over here, what I did is I took a stock image and just took the black out. I removed um, most of the black and then just put um, a guy walking underneath of it. So let's start by showing you how I did this reveal one. First thing I like to do is give myself a black background. Okay, so black. I'm going to go to our titles. I've got some favorites here. This one was called Hacker Music. I liked it because it was really big and it had a white background. Okay, let's double click that. Go to the music part. This particular one, uh, they don't allow you to uh, delete it, so we're just going to move it. And we're going to take it right off the screen. We can take this hacker one, bring it down, and even uh, crank it up a little higher if we want in size. And that's sufficient for what we're doing. Now what you want to do is um, have this as your only thing on the screen. And you want to export this file. Then you're going to import that file back. Now I've already done that for you. So I took this and I exported it. And then I made a new file and I'll import it back for you. So now we've got a black background with some text and white in it. And we're going to use the new tools to remove that white. It's pretty cool. Um, so underneath, uh, you can put anything you want. I think I had the cars under there. So let's see if we can find those real quick. Right, let's take the car, drop it in. And you can see that right now, uh, well, you don't see anything. <laughs> all right, here's all we're going to do. This is so that Filmora just made this so easy for us. Effects, remove white background. Do not place it on top. It won't work right. You'll get a weird result. Drop it directly on to the clip and release. All right, immediately the white background is now gone. Okay, so that's one way you can use this new effect. Cool, huh? All right, next up, let's just take those out. We'll start fresh again. And for that, I went to Filmora's stock media. I searched around for a while and found this really nice image of something with a pretty dark black background. I'm actually going to move that to track two for a second. And then I needed something happening in the back. Uh, so I had the guy walking. It's also a free stock footage. Drop that underneath. And this is what you get without doing anything. Well, nothing, of course. You cannot see the guy walking underneath. Okay. So for this one, all I did was come out to the end, split it, delete it, drag it over, go to my effects, Go to remove black background this time and again drop it directly on the clip and that's what you get and uh, now you can start to see what's happening now why did my demo look a little different well the reason is that when you use those effects you have a little bit of control so we're actually going to keep that upper color layer see what it did and then we can mess with our threshold a little bit i'm just going to go from the zero to 100 so you can see the difference and of course you just set this wherever you want. And now we've got a guy walking 
underneath of that sky and ocean. And that's how I made those effects using these new tools. Now I want to demonstrate why I placed that title on a black background. And to demonstrate that, I'm just going to go to my titles and just take one, any title that has a white background. So there's one. Now, you would think you could just go and remove that white background, right? So let's drop it on top and watch what happens. Nothing. It will not go on top. Okay? You have to layer these things. You need to put some other background with it, export it, bring it back in, and then use it. I cannot drop this and make it work. So the, the, the effects are not designed to work in that manner. All right, let's go over a little demonstration of the remove white background again. And for that, we're just going to take a stock image. Uh, I've got one here. Let's start it on track two in case we want to add something underneath. Let's double click it. Go to transform. Let's scale it up. I want to fill the whole screen. That's good. And not everything here is white. This is a reflection, and there are definitely white in the clouds. But let's see what happens. Remove white background once again, drop it on the clip. And most of the white is gone, leaving some gray and stuff like that. Now that's how you can remove the background and you can add a, another background behind it if you like. But let me show you something else first before we get too far into that. Remove white background. Now what we have is called feather radius and I'm gonna bring it to zero. I want you to pay, just stare at one spot for a second for me. Let's go right under this person's arm, right where the reflection of the trees meets the old water line. It's now gray. Watch that feathering. See, it gets real tight, and then it gets a little blurry, so it can feather it in if you're adding something behind this. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's put something behind this. Let's take a, um, what do you want to put behind it? Let's put this nice um, scene right here of these clouds. Look at that. Is that an amazing way to change your background or what? Look at that. Now, even, even the reflection in the old water is the reflection of the new background. And once again, you can double click that, go to effect, and you can play with that radius. Maybe you want that a uh, very, very fine line. And maybe you just want a little feathering like that. And within a couple seconds, that's the background change. And I will hide this track so you can see what's going on. Gone. There it is. That's it, guys. This is a short video. I just wanted to show you the two new effects. Remove black background, remove white background. Uh, with a little bit of experimentation, uh, you can do uh, amazing things in just a couple of seconds with these two new Filmora effects. I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, make sure when you leave me comments, uh, if you're playing around with this stuff, I'd love to see what you did with it. Show me how you use these tools. Hit this like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll see you real soon on the next video.